Hello everybody, welcome to God Next Gaming. Amp One Way here with you, and we are back. I um Yeah, so we've basically been playing for about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. Uh thought I hit the record button. Guess I did not hit the record button. Could have sworn I hit the record button and been talking and playing and kind of moving along. We made our way to where we are now from our humble home here. We picked up a treasure chest up in this area went to the trader uh, got another mission it's all the way over there but we started moving this way uh, we actually want to take over this spot here to start building our base as we start to spread out and i thought i recorded all this but i guess i did not we just cleared out this bathhouse which we're not going to make uh, maybe we'll make it our temporary base for now i guess per se because uh I don't know. I don't need to go we'll use this building. Maybe we'll use this building just to kind of hide in overnight or whatever and kind of get ourselves uh, to a safe spot so the zombies can't get us overnight. Um, but our plan, my plan is going to be to uh, build a base out in the open in between uh, this POI and another POI. And we are going to uh, build our own base. So I have to gather resources in doing that. I got a whole bunch here already. Let me build up, get myself about 30 frames I think I need to start. That just started off. I just put off a whole bunch of zombies. I now have a spear, which I can use. And I have some leather gloves. This should be better than the gloves I have on. Oh, yeah. I'm not good for stamina or mobility, but definitely better armor. So the padded gloves. And these are pants. They're both the same it doesn't make a difference either way uh we could probably scrap these though i don't want to hold on to that kind of stuff if i don't need to and since the pants are the same one way or the other i hear a zombie we'll scrap those i don't like the way they look anyway i hear a zombie somewhere uh we're gonna have to get ourselves some more arrows i don't have any feathers on me but now that we have a spear, I feel like we could use that spear. We should be okay to use this to fight these zombies off. It should give us good reach. I'm going to have to fight ranged anyway. I keep hitting her in the shoulder, not in the head. There we go. Right finally in the face. There we go. Take that in the boob, in the head, and she's down. We'll take that wood. It's not going to give me wood because I didn't hit it with an axe. And yeah, so a little disappointed that I was uh, playing all this time and nothing got recorded. But such is life as they say, right? What I'm going to need to do is I need to start cleaning out this area anyway uh, to get some stuff. And all this wood I want. I built up 30 frames already, so I got 40 frames, which is good. Uh, we're just going to keep collecting wood here as we go. Use all of this stuff because we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna build ourselves our own little freestanding uh, base. We're not gonna use any POIs, and we're gonna start digging underneath that freestanding base to make an underground base for ourselves. There's a door here. Ooh, nice sports bag in there with some boots. I don't know if they're any better than the boots that we have. Let's take a look. They are not better for mobility. Better for they're less noise. So what do they replace? So we go either from leather boots, which actually have a better effect resistance and light armor rating and better durability, but they make more noise, less mobility, less stamina. So it hurts my stamina. We're going to, yeah, we're going to have to hold on to the boots that we're wearing already. I think it's going to set the way it's got to go. All right. Sounds good. Let me start working on clearing this area out. Uh, knocking these trees down, clearing out the grass, laying down my foundation, and then we're like I said we're gonna start digging. Uh, well, not gonna start digging down until I find a good shovel. At least I need a better shovel than what I have if I'm gonna dig on the ground. Um, for any stretch of the way, I was also talking about some of the points that I spent. We spent points and we didn't get to see that either. 
Let's go back over here actually quickly. And uh, I'm going to pick this stuff up here too. And we're going to go up the ladder. And I do have a little storage chest here that I'm storing my stuff in for the time being. And we're going to scrap that. We'll put those away. We'll put the glass jars away. That, that. Uh, first aid bandages will hold on to. The cloth, the aloe vera. This all can go in here for now. Uh, we'll hold on to the plant fibers too for the time being. These padded boots can go in there. We can probably bring those to the trader and sell them. Which will be really good. And uh, we got the frames. And we got that. And we got some room on us now. We need all of these. You know what? I'm going to put these away too for now. And I think I have enough stuff on us. Let's get our feathers though. We definitely need to get more stone. We got we to gotta get more stone. Okay. So we're going to focus on stone. We're going to focus on wood. Uh, I got a decent amount of wood for now. Got to get some stone. And then we're going to start working on building our base. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Alright folks. We, so we just loaded up. Uh, from our la our old uh, place, our first uh, place where we stopped over for that first night over. We grabbed a whole bunch of our stuff. We got a zombie over there. Uh, we're going to run right past there and go back to our new location. You can see where I laid out the framework uh, in a minute. We're headed over now. We're going to drop down our um, bed rolls so we have a new location over here to respawn if we die. Like I said, we're not playing any specific rules on this it's just uh straightforward let's play uh if we die we're gonna respawn and we're gonna keep going uh we're not gonna stop because we died it's not a permadeath type of situation collecting rocks as i go because we need the rocks get my axe out too because if we see anything we can whack up we will and here we are we're coming up on that poi there's the bath place and then there's that other little camp and here's our framework right here this is it. I started digging it out too. Uh, and then went back and grabbed the mod for my shovel because I have a crappy shovel. The stone shovel for now. Uh, but I grabbed the mod to put into it so that hopefully it maybe helps us a little bit get through us a little bit quicker here because shoveling is a pain in the butt right now. Um, this is not easy. And we are encumbered by what? I don't know. Oh, uh, clay and fibers. Yeah. So what we're also going to have to do is uh, when I left here before... I knocked over my ladder, trying to take out the bottom rung, and I uh, I screwed it up, basically. So we're going to jump on top of this, and we're going to just kind of nerd pull our way up for now, because what else are we going to do? There's nothing else I can do. And we're going to move everything out of here into our inventory. I'm just kind of get rid of all this stuff. We're going to keep that bone knife there. Casings, ammo, we'll keep that that and everything else is going to go in there we have some food if then some of that stuff all this uh, the stone will hold on to the bandage will hold on to the pot we'll put in there the fibers we'll put in there all right so we're going to build ourselves another campfire which i think we'll do right now uh craft that and then oh we gotta get the bedroll right we got the bedroll we'll take that and we'll put this in there put that there we'll drop the bedroll down Drop the better all right there. So this is our new spot now. We still have to go back to the old one. And you'll see my land claim right there in the uh, compass at the top. Uh, we'll have to go back there and grab a few more things uh, for ourselves. But we're going to put the campfire down here. And Oh, we have the pots too. To grab the pot. Grab myself a pot. I'll put our pot in there so we can boil some water. I think what we're going to do is we have nine water, so we don't have to go grab any water just yet. All right, we're good there. I want to start upgrading some of these frames, I think, because it's going to... You know what? we got to take this out of here, too. Uh, I don't like this sitting in the middle. I'm going to run over that, and then I'm going to get burned. All this stuff's got to come out as well. Probably going to clear this entire encampment out at some point. There's plenty of wood here for us as well to kind of whack. I'll give us some wood to work with to build. And we're getting up to the night bell pretty soon. But I do want to upgrade all of this stuff as well. So uh, I did not get as much stone as I wanted to. We're going to have to work on that. I don't know what I'm going to do to work on that just yet. There's a boulder right over there that I can whack on uh, for a little bit. 
But we're definitely going to need to get more stone. We're in, we're in dire need of stone at this point. I just want to kind of get these all upgraded right away. Uh, as quickly as possible. Then maybe we'll take a look at some. we got some more skill points, too, to dump in. I'll show you what I dumped in already. And then we'll uh, work on some more skill points. I kind of want to do a little bit of a balance here, if I can. I want to balance out the uh, fighting stuff and balance out the building stuff as well. So I want to be able to kind of do a little bit of both. Since we don't have, like, the enemy spawn turned up super high or anything like that, it was kind of casual, uh, not too too boring but you know uh casual nonetheless it's not the it's not the bottom line easiest setting possible but it's uh definitely not the hardest either uh just the default one i think i think, I think it's avenger uh adventurer or scavenger i'm not sure which one it is it's whatever the default is um i did that so i always hate when there's the grass around it makes me nuts little pieces of paper too get them out of my way uh plenty of resources here for us to kind of dig up with the cobblestone and the cement. And let's take a look at these skill points here. So, um, nothing to perception yet. We're probably going to take a look at that, but we start getting stuff going into a forge when we have this ready to go. About to put the forge in this little camp area, which will probably be good for us. Uh, nothing there. Nothing in agility. Uh, nothing in fortitude. We did do strength for one. Uh, we did pummel Pete so we can whack him over the head. And then we did uh, minor 69 so we can dig a little bit faster. We might want to look at Master Chef. Um, hmm. Maybe not. Maybe this instead or Pack Mule because we want to go looting. So we'll do one there. Uh, we'll do Sexy T-Rex because that'll help with the stamina stuff. And then I want to see about... Where's the Javelin Master? So this should help with... Sticks and stones may break my bones, but if combined, can make a nice spear. So we can craft better spears. We can do more damage with spears. 10% more damage. And 10% more range when thrown. And we can craft them as well. So we have one point left. I might want to drop that in Lucky Looter so we can do a little bit better. Because we haven't been doing so great with the loot stuff just yet. So we'll drop that in there too. And uh, that's all of our points spent uh, as of now. We definitely have to add some stuff to Perception at some point, too. Uh, but we're gaining XP pretty quickly, so we're not in terrible shape here as far as that goes. Uh, we'll get this all up. I want to get rid of these papers. Anything you walk on is definitely going to kind of trigger zombies, and we don't, we definitely don't want to do that. So um, that's all good there. All right, we're looking pretty good. We're getting, like I said, we're getting close to that night bell. We might want to drop a floor in here for now. We definitely want to dig underneath this thing. We're going to sit at the top of that tower overnight. And uh, I don't know what we're going to work on, but we're going to work on something. I don't know if I just want to drop the floor down in here like this. And leave it like that. I mean, is that okay? I guess it's okay, right? We're not going to upgrade it because reasons. Plenty of wood right now. We could just build as many frames as we want, I think. Up to 30. We'll start crafting 30 more of these. And then, uh, definitely want to build this up for sure. This is going to be our little base. And we're going to dig underneath. And we're going to build a base underneath here. Love to get my hands on a decent shovel, uh, a real shovel, not this little stone shovel thing. That'll be our door. Looking good. Let's upgrade all of this stuff. And, uh, yeah, I mean, so looking pretty decent. We're off to a decent start here. Uh, I'm going to have to upgrade my axe in a minute. But we're definitely going to need more stone, too, to do so. We have enough stone to upgrade this, at least. But then we're going to have to grind away for some more, without a doubt. But I think the plans are going to be that we're going to do is continue to grind for resources, continue to... Uh, we'll we'll spread out during the days as we get closer to nighttime. We'll we'll do this kind of stuff here uh, Get our area cleared up for ourselves You know when it comes to this stuff here Because I'm gonna definitely want to get this grass out of here clear this area pretty wide It's a nice big wide area so we can work on building it up, which is gonna be nice And we're just gonna keep expanding this little 
base building from where it is now. This is our going to be like a little starter, and then we'll uh, turn it into something else. I already got attacked by a vulture once uh, on my way on my way to finding this area. We were just kind of searching around and exploring a little bit. But where is that boulder? There it is. We need this. We need to hit this up and see if we can get as much stone as possible out of this thing. See on the way here, we already hit a vulture because because of the, the burned out forest area. That's why I wanted to get out of there as quickly as possible. I am not good with vultures. They will eat me alive. Uh, and as you can tell, my health is down to a 47, so we're going to have to work on that too. And then, oh, we should go drink that honey as well because it looks like our infection's going back up too, uh, which is not fantastic either. So, but yeah, we're gonna probably going to come close to putting an end to it here. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to kind of continue to grind until things are done. And then, um, yeah, we'll see you in the next episode. We got some, we got a lot of work to do before the Horde Knight comes, for sure. I mean, I don't know what else we're going to, you know, we're going to do other than just grind away for resources and loot around during the day a little bit uh, as much as we can, get around to as many places as we possibly can uh, that are within the vicinity. We'll go dig up that um, buried treasure for the trader because I know that he wants us to do that for him. And we're, we're good with that. Where's that other honey? Yeah, let's drink that. That should help with the infection stuff. There it goes. It's just drop, dropping down. Actually, let's take a look at this here and see. Uh, low health. Your maximum health is low. Apply first aid to restore it. And then antibiotics now. You've been treated. Infection, 5.5%. This should help. Hopefully, this starts dropping this so it's, and this stays up. I don't know how long that lasts for. Then abiotic medicine, I don't know. There's 5.4, starting to drop down. It's 4.7. Definitely dropping down at about the same rate. So we're going to have to find more. That's what it comes down to. That's what it looks like. We're going to have to find more. Okay. It is what it is, man. What are you going to do? Can't do much more than what we're doing. All right. Uh, got that organized. And then let's get our way back down here. And yeah. How much stone do we have? 101. We should probably try to find some feathers as well. Some more uh, bird's nests to get some more feathers and stuff. Uh, 102 stones we had. I was looking at that and then I forgot what I had. It's fantastic. Ooh, the bird nest. Ooh, I didn't even research that one. It's right here next to me. And it's got an egg in it. That's great. That'll be good for food. And then, like, so we have the bathhouse here, which has like, some water in the tub. And that will help. When we need water later on, we could just fill those up and then we will we can uh, cook it up and distill it or whatever they call it. And then let's just get this upgraded and we'll get you upgraded. And we are off to a nice little start here for our series. I mean, yeah, is what it is. It's on its way. See, this is where we get into. We don't need that right now. We'll put that there. And we'll dig this out. I'm definitely going to put the frame here. I'm going to put frames underneath here, too. These frames are going to go all the way down at some point. Because, like I said, we're going to build a, a thing on the way down. We're going to build a, a base underneath the ground here, too. We're going to have to reinforce all of it as well. So we might as well put that in there. And we might as well put that in there. And then we can upgrade. And then upgrade. All right. Drop that. Ooh. And then upgrade. Perfect. Yeah, we're going to eventually do all of this too. I mean, this is going to be my floor. It's definitely my floor. I just wanted to leave. I didn't want to upgrade any of this because... We're definitely going to have to make a hole to go down. And that hole is going to probably go wind up going straight down at some point. So I don't want to make it too close to the edges either. We're going to have to dig it all out anyway uh, as we dig down further. We're going to leave one of these middle ones open for me to use as a way down. It'll be that one. That's it. Decision made. Definitely need a better shovel though. All right. So... We get that all upgraded. That's going to be our mine shaft going down. We will 
definitely dig that in a little bit. But I think that's going to do it for us here, folks. I'm going to just continue grinding until the night bell drops. And I will uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye now. Oh